Hey, hi and everyone, this is Wonderhelm Games, back with another game. We're back into Warcraft. Now, I've got plenty of characters, but I decided to check out another realm. Um, so this character is a rogue. Um, so, level 7 at the minute, but literally, I've only been on it about 10 minutes. Um, it doesn't take that long. Um, the best thing about the leveling system now is it only goes up to level 60. It's been capped and brought back from 120 levels, mainly just to help bring new people into the game. So it's good that way, because if you, whenever you're looking at talking to people, saying about, oh, well, you know, Warcraft's quite good, you know, this, but uh, you hunt 120 levels, it takes you to cap. Immediately people can get put off by that, going, oh, the grind, the can't, the can't be bothered with all that. But 60 levels, no, that's, it's a lot easier um, to manage, especially if you're doing it in bite sizes, you know, like a couple of hours a day or, every so often but honestly if you're at this from morning to night you could probably you can likely get, to get 60 levels um, so it just depends on how much you grind really so if you don't over a period of a week just every so often leveling up doing dungeons whenever they're available um, to you then that's you'll, you'll get there so there's no real worry about it anymore which is good um, so yeah, I decided to check out a different realm just to see what the for me anyway what the role aspects like, because um, I used to be on like sort of Sporeger then uh, Defias Brotherhood, but the role play died away, next to nothing. Um, Argent Dawn is getting quieter for role play, but it's still there's still role play there, yeah. You know? um, so I just wanted to try different different realms um, to see see what it's like. So I thought, why not um, do a couple of episodes, perhaps, and show some of the some of the, some of the, lev the leveling, really. Um, I'm not going through every single level, but we'll just do so much at a time, just to give you some idea. If you, I'm, I don't know why I'm attacking him for it because I'm not be able to um, <laughs> without the bombs. I'm not be able to kill him. Run away! Ah, oh, come on, leave me alone. Leave me alone! But yeah, so... I'm gonna die. Okay, yeah, I died. Anyway. At least the graveyard is right beside us, so it's no big loss. Just back to life! So, yeah, gunfighter. So yeah, I mean, does any of you play Warcraft? Do you, if you do, do you role play? I think I um, I did do another quick video before when I was just going through my other character when I was looking at uh, a role play, and I did ask. Um, um, but as of yet, no one really commented. But that's fine. It might take a while for the video to circulate and for new people to find it and whatever else. But It'd be nice just to get people's perspective, what you think of the game, especially since Activision got their claws into it. I just think the game started to die off a bit now. Um, but everyone's got their own views, I suppose, their own opinions. I mean, there's this week, since this, you know, uh, this is uh, recording this in March, I suppose, the end of March, but they're saying there's more people getting laid off or furloughed or, or fired or whatever. And yet the new CEO uh, is giving himself a huge big rise, pay rise, lovely, you know, so. Oh, well, what are you supposed to do? I mean, I suppose that's the way of the world, isn't it? Same as anything, no matter where you go. The, the better people, the better, the better, uh, or the, the good people, I suppose, always don't get their pay rise when they should. Other the ones who don't need a pay rise, get a pay rise. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going to do that. So yeah, I, I, I do like rogues. Um, I have one of every race or every, every class, I suppose, as well at the minute. So, but I, I like rogues. I like paladins, mages, things like that. Um, so I, I have to choose water there. I didn't even need water, but I have no 
I have no um, intellect on this character, and water and things like that give help replenish your intellect. Um, so I just needed food really. But honestly, unless you're getting attacked constantly, um, your health will go back up anyway. So it's not too bad. Uh, so the good thing about having it is whenever you're in dungeons, you need to talk quickly for a bit, like replenish your health. Or a drink to replenish your mana if you're um, if you're like a healer class, then yeah, it's it's good to have it because you can't rely on it just going up right away because go back right back into fighting again. <laughs> so, but I always like the scissors um, Gomez. Um, and the whole story is the whole if you're new to this and you're wondering what's going on, there's a lot going on. I mean, depending on what class you choose, whatever else, do your background, do your research on the classes and then go out and see what one you like. But for Gilneans, it seemed to be where certain, they were all obviously normal, they were human, you know, but um, some of them started changing and being infected and they started changing to um, feral, f feral organs or werewolves, if you were, not knowing who they are, not knowing who they're killing. But when they started getting the potion, they give it to ones who were afflicted, and then they seen that their human side started to assert itself, that they could now um, take control of their, their thoughts, they knew what they were doing, especially when they're changed, so it worked out for the better then at least, that they could start to come around. So that means then when they see ones in the game, they can turn, change from their human side to their warden side, and they'll still be able to keep a hold of their faculties and know what they're doing. So, um, but wardens are quite a good, quite a good uh, class, uh, quite a good race. Um, there's different classes, and all you can have with the same race. It just depends what you want. And we're looking for by down below. There we are. Into the basement. Lord Goffrey. Godfrey. So yeah, this is like again, if you do a starter starter quest on any, um, no matter what character, what place you choose, what character you choose, it gives you an idea. It gives you a start. At the very start when you choose your character, it gives you two options, left and right. Um, whether you start like this character, for example, whether you start with Gilnes, or whether you um. I can't remember what the other place was, but um, two places will always give you a start. I would always recommend if you're if you're new to the game, start in in the area where it's meant to be, like for Gilnes, for Gilnes exactly. Then better starting in Gilnes City. It'll give you a bit of an insight, especially if in the story as well about what's going on. So it's handy that way. It doesn't take you long to catch up in the story, especially you can look over all the cinematics and in game cinematics you'll get caught up in the in the story of what's going on from one expansion to the other. It won't take too long. Um, so yeah. Not too bad. So I'll do a few more here, just to give the a few missions of the starter zone. <laughs> ba -da -da -da. Dead. No. Oh, upstairs. Ah, oh, here, kid. Join the others. Should I change that actually? You can change where you want things to go as well. So I interface, go to game, action bars, 
unlock action bars. So things like that. If you want that to be up top, you can put them up top. I just keep all here for your main your main attacks really. See that. And then go back in and lock it again so you don't accidentally take one off or delete it. But there'll always be in your spell book anyway as you do, so there's no big hurry, no big panic if you do. But overall the game is good. I mean I just the way that, the way things are going lately, I think it's just a wee bit it's gonna downhill a little bit. For starting off and getting used to it for the first time, it's really good. I've been in the game since two thousand and four. Oh, I started as a, an idol. Um, again, first thing I did when I got the game is I looked through both Horde and Alliance, all the different classes and that, and uh, the different races. And Night Elves is the ones that seem to jump out most for me in terms of their background and their story and that there. And it's I just like like the look of it. And uh, as soon as I started. I say you go to Darnas, you start and tell yourself in the in the in an area within the called Aldrasil. Um and the music and everything just it just went you get a you get a mess into it like this here. It's different music and different uh, different area completely, but everyone's gonna have their own their own memories of the game when they start off. But mine was I always I'll always remember fondly from the from starting off as a night elf, and that, because the music and everything else just on its own was lovely, amazing, and then the, the scenery and stuff was quite good. But uh, yeah, not bad at all. Let's go this. But yeah, as I said before, I mean, I, I like the role play aspect. If there was no role play, in terms of you're getting immersed into whatever character you're creating, and the backstory and whatever else, and then joining other role players to do the same thing in terms of getting into the story of it, using your character to do that, I enjoy that because you can be creative. Um, but if you're mainly in just the PVE aspect, or if you love the PVP aspect. There is a lot to do, uh, so a lot of people just go on and do raids every other night or two or three times a week. Different raids, get their gear up, and then they can start doing PvP and different things. Uh, so everyone's different. Everyone likes their own thing. But yeah, I, as I said there, you know, starting off, you get the first five levels in about five minutes. I mean, so it's very, very quick. And then once you go up to level eight or ten, depending on how quick you go, you can get through it fairly, fairly easy. So it's not bad. I mean, there's me, what, level eight? Halfway level eight, halfway level nine. Beforehand, I didn't look at the quest, but anyway.
He's gone. Slice and dice. <laughs> What is it? What?
So yeah, that's the sum of the quests of the starter zone for Gilnaeus. Um, so, regardless of what class you choose, if you choose a Gilnaean, you'll get roughly the same. You get the same quests initially, anyway, before you go into other areas and that there, and then do your own class quests and stuff along the way. But the main quests will pretty much stay the same. And yeah, unless if you want to see the area with it rain as well, because <laughs> it always rains in Gilnaeus, there's an inky black potion you can get. Get them from likes of the um, you can buy them on the on the auction house in the city, but you can probably just get them yourself from likes of the Dark Moon Fair when it comes about, and they're a bit cheaper, <laughs> but they're quite good. There's a level eleven. And then you start choosing your class. So here we are. Assassination. A deadly master of poisons who dispatches victims with vicious dagger strikes. Outlaw. A ruthless fugitive who uses agility and guile to stand toe to toe with enemies. So axes, mazes, swords, fist weapons. So that one's mainly daggers. Assassination. And then subtly, a dark stalker who leaps in the shadows to ambush his unsuspecting prey. Daggers again. So, that just depends. I, I think my other rogue is assassination. I'm pretty sure she is. Um, oh, I'll try something different maybe for this one. Perhaps. But um, you can change as you go about it. If you, if you activate one and think, oh god, I don't like it, you can go and deactivate it and put try another one. So um, it's not like other games where you choose something and then that's it, you're locked into it. You know, it's, it's easy that way. At least you can check and see what you want to do. If you don't like a certain a certain class, certain specialization, you can always change it. That's not that's that's a good thing. So so what it is. Um, <laughs> Try it outlaw then. Try it outlaw. We'll see what that one will be like. As soon as you do that, you'll see your specialties can. Well, these ones are pretty much stay the same, I think. But generally, if you do that, you can probably use some specialties there because there could be more assassination or more subtlety. But it just depends. But that's not too bad. You see, the next ones we can get now is like a pistol shot. Blade of Fury, Dispatch, and um, Roll of Bones. That's just some of the ones you'll get along with this specialization. You'll get all of them in here as well once they come up. You'll see there's Rogue, and Outlaw, Assassination, Subtlety. So here we are. All the way up to level 60 or 58. And there we have it. It just gives you an insight of saying to into Goliath at the start. Um, but if you want to see more of me leveling this character, give us shit in the comments and we'll just I'll go through the character, level up. Next episode could be going from I'll do various clips from maybe level twelve up upwards, finishing off this zone, going to another zone, and then we clip of each of each form like from this one to the 20, then 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 50, 60. Oh well, could do. But we'll see what happens. So, yeah, leave it there for now. Give us a like and subscribe. And as always, we will see you in the next one.
Take care of yourselves. Bye.